Hello and welcome to expertadvisorprogramming.com. My name is Jason and I'll be taking you through the tutorial number two on how to begin programming using the Expert Advisor Terminal Editor. Now our first step is to actually start the program and I assume you've been through the first tutorial on how to install the platform and how to run it and add charts to the terminal. Our first step would be to click on the terminal and of course we'll already be logged in we'll cancel that part and to go into the what's called the MetaQuotes language editor and you can hit F4 for the shortcut you can drop down tools and click on this right here now this brings you into the editor at this time there's nothing in it so what we need to do here is we're going to start a new expert advisor wizard and see we have several options here you can select expert advisor custom indicator scripts libraries includes and generate from template now to for basic simplicity we're going to start with just the basic expert advisor i'm going to click next now we have to give it a name we can call this just basic let's say moving cross okay and we click finish now it brings up the basic templates needed for the expert advisor to start. At this point we see several sections, expert initialization, expert deinitialization, expert start functions. These are all the main program codes. Now if you don't know how to program in C Sharp or C++, then you're going to need to refer to many many sources on the web that'll help you do this now assuming that you know how to program in C++ and this is always a help if you don't don't worry I'll take you through the steps on how to learn it as we go now the first thing you need to understand is what all what these functions do now initialization is a one-time one-shot type of procedure that starts and adds values into the program and then it never does it again until you end the program. When you end the program or you take it off the chart, or it's called deinitialization, it will do something as far as clearing values or memory, and these are commands that go in here. Now here is the meat, of, meat and potatoes of the code is the start function. And this is basically, in most program lines, called the main menu. And this is where most of your code will go inside this quote, open quote and close quote and return and basically we'll start from here to learn how to program our expert advisor Now we're going to go over the expert advisor command structure. As you see, the uh, chart on the left is the programming code, and the schematic on the right shows a block diagram of how it works. This is our first step: is to initialize the expert advisor. And those are set the initial variables that work in the program. This is the deinitialization step, which takes part when you remove the program from the chart. And of course, the first step. And executing your advisor is a start menu. This is where the top-down code goes that starts all the coding that makes your program work. And this is what we're going to go into the next video describing this top-down process to opening a buy order and uh, calculating the lot size and actually being able to close the buy order and do the sequence over and over until we have a trade. Okay, so the next step will be to explain the code in exact detail in the expert advisor start function.